Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa with thestockswoosh.com, and I just wanted to do a market review of the SPY here because the SPY just blew over 211, which I called it to do this morning in the live room, and is going to make a new high. It's going to make a new high, and this is another great call by me to see that the market would do this. And I want to point out that a week ago, not even a week ago, on Friday, the market gapped down and fell red all day. I knew that meant nothing. I knew that it wasn't going to break the chart. I knew we were still holding in here. I knew we, this was that was really nothing significant. And a lot of people have been short this market since back from February when it made a double, triple, quadruple top. And we're going to get over the high. I called us to do it before the end of the month in April. It's April 23rd. It's nowhere near the end of the month, and we will do it today, tomorrow. We could even gap up tomorrow and over the high tomorrow into the gap. In other words, if we don't trade up on over the high there at 213 tonight or tomorrow morning, we could either gap up tomorrow morning over the high or Monday morning either. Either way, it just was another great call by me. And I said that over 211, we would blow. And it just happened. I'm just sitting here watching it. It just happened. It went poof like that. And there it is. So we will close green today. We will close green today. I don't know the exact price of where we close today. But even I was surprised how we opened and power trended out of the gate this morning because this was not a great gap. I did not aggressively call the market long today into the open, but you could have gone long aggressively today in the market. And the market is just one of the best charts I've really ever seen to the upside. It is actually, bar none, strong. And yet people are shorting this and people think it's extended and it's not. You could have bought the market here. Look at that. I just saw that there. Let me just look at something here. This is like amazing. Yep. So, you know, I was not expecting us to power trend out of the gate, but we did today. But I did say the market was higher today, and I did say that we probably could make a new high. And then once I saw how we acted in the morning period, which I read extremely well, I realized that we would hold today and attempt to make a new high. Whether we run out a day or not, you know, who's to say? Again, the market follows the rules of timing. Time is an indicator in the market because we live in this universe where the market closes at 4 o'clock. So if the market closes at 4 o'clock today, which is in four hours from now, and doesn't get up over the high, we could very well gap up tomorrow. I wouldn't even be remotely surprised if that happens at all. It's, once again, I'm going to say there's nothing in this chart that this chart could do at all to even remotely look bearish. Not in a gap, not on the day, not, not anything. And yet people have shorted this market. And do you know that on Friday, people really shorted the market? Traders, not the people that are controlling the market. Who's controlling the market? Serious, serious money. Buying's coming in. This is actually buying. That's what this is. This is new buying coming in. I knew over 211 you'd have some people exiting the shorts, but actually not even as much here as I'm seeing that's going to happen. Now that I just saw that happen. I don't know if we're going to really fly over 212, 213, or 215. Either 212, 213, or 215 over one of those numbers, whenever we hit over one of those numbers, and it could all happen all completely together in one solid day, actually, or in a gap, the market really is going to fly. We got up to 211.40 there today. So the market's higher, as I have been calling, and will make a new high before the end of April, as I called. Amazing call by me. I have an amazing intuition to read price action, even when it sucks people in, thinking that it's going to break or fall or that the up move is done. It's not, and how I'm able to read this, because I know how to read price in a chart, because I taught myself how to read gaps correctly. And it is the highest level of advanced technical analysis that actually exists out there is uh, gap analysis. People don't know how to analyze gaps, though. In fact, I'm the only one that I know that analyzes gaps in the way that I do in this correct fashion, that I can predict things before they happen. That is how I'm able to do it. Although I have a great instinct for reading money when it's taking control of a stock, whether it's taking control of the stock or the market, whether it's taking control of it to the upside, or when it's taking control of it to the downside. I'm very, very good at reading that. 
So a great call I made here in the morning for the market to hold today and rally and blow over 211, which it's doing, and we will make a new high before the end of the month. So it's just no one should be in this market short. And for people who are thinking that it's going to break or it's extended, I'm here to tell you that it's not. The entire year of 2015 will continue to be bullish. Here's what you're looking at in the market. I see what people are looking at when they're saying that the market's extended. But that is not how I'm reading it. Again, how do I know what I know about this, that this isn't extended, that it will carry through, that it will continue higher this year and into 2016? Because I understand how to read gaps. And if you take my class and you learn the 26-point rating system and you learn how to read gaps, not only can you learn how to make money in the market day trading consistently, but you can make money doing swing trades and overnights and read trends correctly when money is taking into a position or exiting it which allows you to make money because you can't make money doing something if you're in the wrong direction. It's painful and even if you hold through the trade till it flips or switches you out or comes back to break even, it's, it's the wrong thing to do. You end up taking uh, unadulterated risks then or crazy risk that you shouldn't take. Trading is about taking calculated risk and seeing it before it happens and then waiting for it to set up and then you take it. And this market has never done anything wrong. It has never done anything even remotely bearish. It wasn't even falling According to me, in the month of January, when everyone was really thought that it was falling off the planet and it wasn't, and we are set to make a new high like any second. Could happen today, could happen tomorrow, could happen in a gap on Monday morning. This is Melissa with the StockSwitch.com. If you're interested in learning how I trade and to trade like me and to make money like me in the market, then I'm teaching a Golden Gap class this weekend, April 25th and 26th. Great time to trade because it's earnings season. There's a million things to do. And if you learn how to trade this month, you'll be able to take advantage of being in the room the entire month of May, which is going to be a massive, massive earnings season month. There's just so many gaps that are coming out in the next five weeks. There's going to be so much money to be had, and the opportunity is there. It's there if you know what to do. And if you don't know what to do, then you lose. So you have to learn what to do, and you have to take your money seriously, which is Think about what you trade. Think about what you're doing and uh, uh, be thoughtful and mindful about your risk in the market. And when you learn what I know how to do and you have the knowledge, it really gives you the conviction to take the risk. And that's how I'm able to do it every day, make money and, and call it live in front of people and besides that. <laughs> so have a great day, everyone. Email me at Melissa at the stockswish.com if you'd like more information or if you want to sign up for the Golden Gap class this weekend. Deadline is tomorrow. Have a great day, everyone.